Hi everyone, this will be a Git tutorial on branching, merging, and resolving merge conflict. Imagine you have an assignment to create a source code on a team consisting of four people. We are going to do this on a local repository and one computer to make things simple. So this is the job description. Guy number one has to finish function number one. Guy number two has to finish function number two and so on. And finally, you merge all of their codes. This is going to be the workflow. So they all start with the same template and doing their part. And finally, the code will be merged into one final product. So the first thing that we need to do is to navigate to a working directory. In my case, it's, uh, it's called git practice. So right now we are in the git practice directory and we want to initialize git by calling the git init command, git init. And now we are creating a document called source code. Source code. We are going to put some code inside the source code. It will be a C++ style. Include iostream. We are going to put three functions here. For function number one. Function number two and function number three. And finally, the main function, return zero, save and close, add the source code into the staging state. Once you add the source code here, as you can see, this uh, red box right here, it represents the staging state. And after you the source code file into the staging state you want to commit it by calling this command git commit and the commit message uh, create a template so once you commit it will be represented as a green box and this arrow right here represents the current branch that we are working on so there is currently one branch right here and we are working on it so we want to add additional branches by calling the git branch and the branch name in this case branch number one branch number two and branch number three git branch branch number one git branch branch number two git branch branch number three so guy number one works on branch number one and so on All right, guy one doing his job. So first thing that he wants to do, uh, he he needs to he needs to change to branch number one by calling this command, git check out branch number one, git check out branch number one, and then uh, add some code inside function number one. Save and close, commit the changes, done. Alright, guy number two, same like guy number one, change the branch to branch number two, add some code. As you can see here, we added line. Uh, in function number one but it is not here right now because we are currently on different branch
save and close git add source code and finally it commit function to finish as a message done all right then guy number three same thing git check out branch number three we are going to add some code cd see out I am function 3 speedy and line close git add source code git commit function 3 finish alright now we finish all three tasks and the next thing to do is to merge all of these branches first we need to change the main uh, the branch into master branch by calling this command you check out master and we want to merge the master branch with the branch number one call the git merge branch number one And put some message uh, in this case merge read branch number one done clear after that uh, we don't need branch number one anymore so we just simply delete it by using this command git branch d dash d don't forget the branch d and branch number one done after that, we want to merge it with branch number two. Git merge branch number two. Add some message. Merge with branch number two. Done. Delete branch number two. And finally, branch number three. Git merge branch number three merge with branch three done and delete branch number three get branch the branch number three okay let's see what happens so we are currently on the master branch right now and we have merged with three branches and this is our result it has been successfully merged so now uh, resolving merge conflict scenario okay uh, you add you added some code in master branch and guy four, guy number four the new guy also added some code in branch number four branch uh, but when you merge, uh, merge uh, the master branch with branch number four, uh, there is a problem. So our job is to resolve the conflict. Okay, so the first thing to do is to create some conflict. So we initialize branch number four, and then we add some code. For example, uh, spdc out. I'm the right code. Std and line. Close. Save and close. Commit to changes. Now, guy number four also added some changes. Git check out branch number four, and then we are going to modify the code. Modify the same area as master branch that will cause conflict. In this case, uh, I am a potato. Yes, uh, save and close, and then 
we are going to commit the changes git add source code and git commit and get some error okay some error okay done so we want to merge both of these branches so git check out master and then git merge branch number four put some message merge with branch number four as you can see here there is an error message uh, conflict merge conflict in source code so what is happening right now the changes uh, has uh, the changes haven't been committed yet so it is still in staging state right now so you need to solve the conflict first then you can do the commit okay so what kind of conflict So this line uh, represents the changes that happen in branch number four. So you don't want this, so just uh, delete this. And so this is this line. It represents the code added in uh, the master branch. So you want, if you want this line, you just delete uh, the line that you don't need. Finally, just save and close. And just uh, do the commit. Git commit. Oops. Oops. Git commit and put some message merge conflict with branch number four. Resolve. Done. Oops. Uh, uh, forgot to add the source code so you need to add the file first git add source code and git commit merge conflict with once again branch 4 resolve done and finally delete branch number 4 git branch dash d branch number 4 Okay, let's check. Okay, it is now finished. There's no problem with the code and with branch. There's only one branch right now, which is the master branch. Okay, so we are good to go. Okay, thank you for listening to the to the tutorial. I hope I hope it helped you.